All right, here I am again for another demonstration or uh, review, I guess, of a uh, another GoPro add-on. Uh, this is the uh, the Polar Pro uh, polarizer filter. Um, if you remember from my last one, uh, the the last filter I had didn't work out so good. It was actually pretty horrible. But uh, I got contacted earlier this week by Jeff at Polar Pro, and uh, he wanted to make things right. And uh, even after I got a different brand of filter, he went, to get, went ahead and uh, sent me another filter on the house uh, just to, to make things right with the company. And uh, that's what it looks like there. That's the, the new and uh, supposedly improved Polar Pro polarizer filter. It's, uh, this one's round, obviously. The, uh, the last one was square. And I'm trying to do this quickly because uh, the sun today is uh, pretty intermittent. So uh, just a quick look around. This is outside the case. This is best I can right now. I would go in the backyard again, but it's getting pretty, uh, pretty nasty. Supposedly spring is on the way. I'm gonna go ahead and stick you in the case. This is with the polarizer filter on now. All right, and it's about as good a sun as we're gonna get today. Maybe get some reflection off of the, uh, the truck windows here. Maybe, I don't know, I, I can't tell. Uh, I haven't actually viewed the footage just like the last time. This is the uh, first time I've used it, first time it's been on the camera. So uh, you're seeing it for the first time, just like I am. Some more glare maybe on the, the truck window, out in the snow. And for more comparison sake, out of the case. I'm surprised the sun is even still staying out. Without the case. Back in the case with a filter. And it looks like we're starting to lose our sun, so it might be a little biased. And if I can keep the sun back out. I'll go ahead and show you the uh, the other product that I was hooked up with. It's the uh, if I can pull it out of my pocket. This is the uh, the naked filter. Uh, sorry, I don't have the original casing on it. The uh, cardboard box. But, uh, I was at work yesterday, and one of the kids decided to break into it, and the boxes are unusable. But that's the filter for the the naked camera. Looks like we might be keeping our sun out. So, take advantage of the, the opportunity. Alright, again, no filter, I'm putting the filter on, and it slides on pretty easy. There it is, the naked filter. And uh, it looks like we're losing a lot of our sun, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this and I'll, uh, I'll redo this part when I come back. Uh, it looks like our sun's not getting a whole lot better, but uh, it keeps popping out. So here we go again. <laughs> the uh, no filter, and now the filter sliding on it. And like I said before, it slides on nice and easy. Yeah. And uh, a benefit with the uh, the circular polarizer lens here on the naked lens, you can spin it to adjust it if. If it does actually adjust, you have the option to. I just rotated it about 90 degrees there. But, uh, not the best demo, but I make do with what I got. Hope this helps you out, and uh, I hope it works out for me too. We'll see. Okay, I just wanted to point this out uh, in regards to the uh, the naked camera filter lens. Um, it, it does appear to, to do what it says it's supposed to do with the uh, when you rotate it it changes the uh, the amount of reflection uh, minimization I guess and uh, I noticed I can use this tab here it's on the side for your lanyard use that as a guide and when I put it on initially I'll put it directly to the left of the camera from looking behind and that's where it is right now and uh, that seems to be about the best spot to filter out the most light. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it down 90 degrees. And you'll see it shift on the reflection on the, uh, the truck and the windshield. And that is approximately directly down in relation to the lens. 
that seems to be putting uh, the motor, allowing the most reflection to uh, to occur. And I'll turn it back to where it started, nice and slow. And you'll see it cuts out about all the light that it's going to cut out, or all the uh, the reflection. So uh, just for a little guideline for you, a little helper. Uh, most reflection cut directly to the the left, and you can lessen the reflection or the uh, increase the reflection by rotating it down 90 degrees. Straight across and straight down. Hope that helps. Thanks a lot, Jeff.